So imagine a bunch of passionate and obsessed divers, uh, scientists, filmmakers together on a ship for several weeks where little science has been conducted. We survey marine life, we film everything, and we come back with the scientific data that tells us how healthy this place is, but also the images. You know, we produce our National Geographic documentaries to share with the rest of the world how wonderful these places are. National Geographic Pristine Seas is a project to help save the wildest places in the ocean. I used to be a professor at the University of California, studying the impacts of humans in the ocean, the impacts of fishing and global warming. And one day I realized that all I was doing was writing the obituary of ocean life. I felt like the doctor who's telling the patient how she's going to die with excruciating detail, but not offering a cure. So I decided to quit academia. I came to National Geographic and proposed this idea, going to the wildest places of the ocean and save them before it's too late. And this is how Pristine Seas was born. The main challenge to the ocean is us, people. Today, only 7% of the ocean is protected. And the science is telling us that we need at least 30% of the ocean protected by 2030, if we are to prevent the collapse of our life support system. COVID-19, I think, is the loudest wake-up call that humanity has had in, in recent history. And we need to protect more of the planet because nature is the best vaccine we have. Oracle has been a supporter of Pristine Seas since the, we started the program back then in 2008-2009 with uh, support, financial support to the Pristine Seas uh, program, the research expeditions, the media work that together with the policy work and work with communities helps to create these marine protected areas. I am very proud of the 23 marine protected areas, seeing all these areas on the map, knowing that they are protected forever. That's uh, very fulfilling.